This is the one that was on the photo arc. It is the one that was on the photo arc. This is what? The one that was in the photo arc. Is it? Mm -hmm. All right, so crates are very head shy. So pinning a crate is really challenging because anytime you make any movement towards their head, they're gonna freak out and move away from that. And they tend to move in these really jerky, kind of quick uh, types of movements. They don't really run away, they just kind of flail around and uh, I kind of like crates because I think they're very different and interesting but Jim does have to be really careful when he's working with them and frequently what he'll try to do is just get them in the right position um, and then sometimes grab them without pinning them. Um, in this instance you can see that he was able to get it kind of straightened out enough that he could pin it down in order to get a hold of it. And now what we're doing is using capillary tubes on the fangs of the snake. And the reason we do that is because these have a relatively small yield. So we actually get more venom if we collect it in the capillary tubes and we're able to put one on each fang. And you can actually see the venom going down into the tube uh, if you watch closely, which is pretty cool. Fasciatus. This is the not bandy one that he's doing first. Oh, okay. So but it still is that species. Step up here. I'm here. So the I'm first just grabbing this. Think I have it? <laughs> don't think, because it'll stick my finger if you don't. It's not moving, but there's... Can I get in here without having to use the... I might need to use this, is that okay? Yeah. Wait a minute, I've lost the other one. He's doing that one on his own. This one would be eating really good. It looks really good. That one, yep. yes. Except for the fact that the weather is being cold. Oh, yeah, well, as long as it's a damp spot. That's his plan. Mark, you're great for that now. You guys are seeing a technique that we usually only do to take samples from individuals. Usually we let them bite it onto a membrane. So, you ready? Yeah. Okay. In order to get the venom out of the capillary tubes, we can use capillary action by touching the end of the tube to the inside of the vial. And if the venom doesn't come out that way, then we can use a little puff of air to get the venom uh, down into the vial. Thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe for more KRZ videos. And don't forget to hit the bell so you know when it's happening. Follow us on social media at KY Reptile Zoo for more scaly content. Lastly, come visit us in Slade, Kentucky and check out our website at kyreptilesweek.com for merch and booking programs. See ya!